hello guys today's topic is female reproductive system herein i will give you in short information about female sex organ also known as female genitalia or female reproductive organs organ of female undergoes structural and functional changes every month these monthly changes plays crucial role in initiation of pregnancy if pregnancy does not occur the perforated endometrial lining breaks down and shades passing through vagina as menstrual blood these changes are under control of sex hormones female reproductive system consists of both external and internal female genitals in this video i am going to explain about external female genitals in short Internal female genitals will be discussed in next video. External female genitals include mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, clitoris, vestibule, vestibular bulb, vestibular glands along with hymen. Collectively all these organs are known as vulva which occupies large part of female perineum. These organs helps in reproduction provides lubrication and sexual pleasure during sexual activities parturition and protection of internal sex organs from infection are the other functions of external sex organs now we will see each organ separately first is mons pubis it consists of subcutaneous tissue and it is in anterior to pubic symphysis During puberty, it bears most of the pubic hairs. Oil secreting glands of mons pubis secretes pheromones, which are responsible for producing sexual attraction. Next is labia majora. Thick folds of skin and adipose tissue located inferior to mons pubis. The fissure between these folds is known as pudendal cleft. Labia majora also have pubic hairs on lateral side of it. while its medial side remains hairless superior joining of majora forms anterior camija and inferior joining of it forms posterior camija labia majora have both sweat and sebaceous glands labia majora mainly provides protection to other external genitals and also provides lubrication while other sexual activities next is labia minora medial to labia majora thin skin folds devoid of fat and hair is present which are known as labia minora their frontal end splits to form upper layer known as prepuce and lower layer known as frenulum of clitoris respectively skin of minora is very sensitive and can become easily irritable fourth is clitoris it is an erectile structure that can be comparable to male penis it is located inferior to mons pubis at anterior end of vulva clitoris is in between the upper end of labia minora clitoris is very sensitive and after stimulation becomes erect these stimulation leads to orgasms in females next is vestibule vestibule is an area enclosed by labia minora vestibule contains vaginal opening urethral opening with the openings of greater and lesser vestibular glands vestibular bulb vestibular bulbs are located on each side of vestibule made up of subcutaneous erectile tissue which correspond to penile bulb and corpus spongiosum vestibular glands there are greater and lesser vestibular glands bartholin glands are the greater vestibular glands these are p sized with short duct which opens into the vestibule bartholin glands mainly provide moisture to vulva and provides lubrication now comes the hymen 
most of the females born with hymen hymen is generally in form of oval membranous ring around vaginal orifice when hymen completely covers vagina it is known as imperforated hymen that's all about external female genitalia thanks for watching please like and subscribe